Vjällskivling. Vjällskivling. Nope. Drink. Oh, won't you stay with me? Brennan in the voice, hunt down mushrooms. We are in a secret spot of ours here in Stockholm. We are hunting delicious forest mushrooms. If we happen to find any, I'm gonna document some of it. Maybe get a little video out of this. How's everybody doing today? Doing good? It's a beautiful summer day here in Stockholm. It's late in the month of August, and uh, summer has come back. It was kind of a touch-and-go summer this year. Hot, cold, cold, rainy, cold, warm, rainy, cold, maybe a hot day, or cold, rainy, warm. You get the point. Not a very good summer, but today it's beautiful. We're in the woods. We got our trusty companion Nova with us. Nova? Nova! She's sniffing rocks. All right, I gotta use my eyes to find the mushrooms. So when I find them, I'll show you. See you then. Third eye, sad man penis? Maybe. Then, ooh, I think I just found something. Psychedelic power. But we did find some mushrooms that we are going after. And we want to show them to you. Look at these little beautiful guys. You gotta watch your step. Make sure you don't step on other ones. Because once, once you see one, you'll see others. And let me show you what I mean. See this little guy poking up there. And then like you turn around over here. And you got this little family. Hiding in here, see this guy? Right there, for a little family hiding. All right, now, let me show you how we check to see if these are edible. So I'm gonna take this big one, lift him up, look underneath the bottom here at him. You see, you see how it looks like a foamy, um, like a sponge or even like a soap? They call these sopa mushrooms. Sopa mushrooms are in like the uh, Cariwan or uh, Porcini family of mushrooms. They are tasty. Tasty guys, look at this bigger one here. Very tasty guys. What I'm gonna do, voice, babe, hold the camera real quick. All right, what I'm gonna show you guys to do is when you pick your mushrooms, before you put them in the basket, take out your little trusty mushroom picking knife, lean off that bottom part. Just let that fall anywhere, pretty much. That bottom part has the mycelia on it that uh, will spread along the ground and grow more mushrooms, hopefully, in the future for us. And then you can brush it off if you want a little bit of this earth brush that off of it any bugs little holes and stuff you may find them they might have bugs in them but when you get home just cut that out take care of it then because you don't want your mushroom to start going bad on you your bottom where you cut might bruise a little bit but other than that your mushroom will stay pretty good put it in your basket and collect more all right well i got a bunch here to clean up so we'll see you at the next mushroom batch the mushroom adventure is going nicely. I'll show you guys a couple that are uh, poisonous. These guys here, you can mistake those for the one that I actually seen a few minutes back in the video uh, that I got really excited about that hadn't grown yet, uh, that I think is a uh, really good edible one. It's uh, easily mistaken for this guy that's incredibly poisonous. Also, the guys that we've been picking, these ones, show you here these ones can be mistaken for these ones which are poisonous uh, let me show you the 
base there. Very similar mushroom, but you can you can see pretty easily the differences when you know what you're looking for. So, poisonous, edible, and tasty. Whew! Just kind of show you guys where we're at. We're in the woods. Picking mushrooms. See this little guy growing here? Don't know what it's going to be, but it's something. I'll show you a stem I cut off of one of these guys. Look at this thing. See how it bruises, turns purple. Massive stem though. Got that guy in the basket. All right, mushroom hunt continues. Okay guys, I just turned the camera off literally a second ago. Took a step and then spotted a mushroom. Do you see it? I think you should be able to see it. Once you, whoo, walking the spider web. Once you get the eye form, they just start popping out everywhere. So this guy right here, Check him out. Eh. He's seen better days. He's a little damaged up. Uh, looks like some mold or something on there. So we're going to let him go back to Mother Earth. Usually when there's one, there are more. These guys. Those guys, I believe, are not edible. Oh, boom. There it is. See it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Look at that little guy, right there. Usually when there is one, there is more. So you want to look around. Oh, the voice has one for me. Excellent. Alright. Cut the bottoms off of these ones. Watch my step as I go back to the basket. Because you don't want to step on a perfectly good mushroom. You might not have seen. There were some other ones that I wanted to show before I got distracted. Oh yeah, look at this guy. I don't believe that is edible. And uh, you know, when in doubt, ooh, ooh, that ladies and gentlemen, Looks like the remains of a big ol' porcini. Or as the Swedish call it, kaliwan. Alright, I gotta put down the phone. Get back to looking. Okay, YouTube and mushroom experts. This guy might be a delicacy. Might not be. Not 100% sure. There's several of them around and look pretty funky leave a comment in the comment section let me know if those funky little white guys are edible or not I haven't been able to figure it out myself and I don't dare to eat what I don't know to be edible excuse me these little guys that was what I was trying to show you earlier I think these guys are edible here but uh I don't think they taste very good, and they never really look very good. Uh, so I never picked those. Let's, let's all become mushroom experts together in the comic section. Leave all your mushroom wisdom, wisdom behind. <laughs> For the voice. What do you think that mushroom is called, babe? Stolt Say that again. Stolt fjällskivling. Stolt fjäll... <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Now you see in the picture there how you can see the skin is ripping up the stock. This doesn't have skin ripping off the stock. It looks more kind of like a, like a rainbow eucalyptus tree. Now that is a bad sign. 
because that means it might not be the most delicious edible one. No, I'm just going to I wouldn't dare to eat it. The voice says she wouldn't dare to eat it. And uh, yeah, going off the pictures, you really want to be safe. So, if this is the most delicious mushroom of them all, and you know the location of this spot, here it is. It'll sit and wait for you. Because I don't dare to die today. You know what? All right, I guess I can try the ring. Let me try the ring. One ring to rule them all. It's Let's take a piece of this. Ugh, that one's got slime on it. I don't know about that piece. All right, the ring shouldn't kill you, plus you should know pretty quickly if it's not. So, let's see. Yeah. No. Just get a sour mushroom taste. No nutty. Yeah, no nutty taste of almond, so That's too bad. that can't be it. Oh, what a bummer. Search continues. Leaving the forest with a basket full of asp sop. They get that name from the tree that they're typically found around, but I do want to show you one that is not an asp sop. This guy right here is known as the Kaliwon here in Sweden. But that is a, oh, let's get the focus back. That is a porcini, a porcini mushroom. Yeah. They are all very delicious. They will make a great, great uh, gravy, mushroom sauce for our steaks tomorrow with friends. All right, so that's it for this YouTube video. We, uh, I don't know, wasn't really planning on filming, but I thought, you know what? You guys have, haven't really ever gone mushroom picking in Sweden. Uh, so I kind of wanted to show you how easy it is to go out in the woods and find some delicious edible mushrooms uh, that you don't have to spend any money on. You know, yes, we did use our travel card and uh, public transportation to get here. Uh, so there's costs involved, you know, and, you know, a couple hours of our day, but we were off work and uh, nothing better to do uh, but to pick food that's free. Go out in the woods, you know, pick some mushrooms that are safe to eat and eat them. Enjoy them if you like mushrooms. Uh, stop at the library, get a book. Go on some forums, do some Google searches, uh, take pictures, send them to friends. We actually do that. Um, one of our family members here is a mushroom connoisseur. And uh, when we are in doubt, we take pictures, send it to them. And, uh, and they usually are spot on with what they tell us in return. So uh, we don't recommend going out and just picking mushrooms and eating them. Know what you're doing. Pick the ones that are clearly safe and edible and enjoy it. Meh. Might as well leave you with some uh, Swedish sheep. Meh. Check them out. Meh. All right. Well, Swedish sheep, Brennan in the voice. Mushroom journey, mushroom success, signing off. Oh yeah, forgot about our sidekick, Nova. Sign off. Yeah, she's signing off. Like, subscribe, comment. Have a blessed day. Enjoy everybody. <laughs>right so I know I ended this video actually a couple of hours ago but the mushroom gods have shed light on us and what we were looking for and hoping to find today in the woods we actually have stumbled upon while walking the dinner and you know what we we left it and we said look let's go to dinner let's enjoy it and then when we come back if it's there it's meant to be and it is here 
and I will even show you pictures of that dinner. I took one picture actually of the dinner and I'll edit it into the video just so you can see it maybe right now. We found the proud mountain skyvling or in Swedish, what is it called voice? Stolt fjällskivling. Stol. Stolt. Stolt. Fjällskivling. 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 If you've seen some of the other videos, this is that moment in time where I like to say, turn this into a drinking game every time I can mess up the Swedish pronunciation of something. Say it again. Stolt. Stolt. Fjällskivling. Fjällskivling. Nope. Drink. Say again. Fjällskivling. Stort. Fjäll. Skivling. 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 Drink. Say again. Stort fjällskivling. Stort fjällskivling. No, you hmm. were better the last time. Drink more. I was better the last time. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at it. Walking. Let's show you the path. Just walking. Paved surface. Flats everywhere. Nova's still with us. Nova! Hello! Park over there, children playing, and boom! This massive, delicious beautiful mushroom. It's fun guy o'clock. Now this guy is easily mistaken for a deadly poisonous mushroom. One of the ways that you can tell that this is edible is by the stalk. See how it looks like it's been uh, shredded or torn as the growth has occurred? That is what you want to see. Earlier in the video I showed you one that looks kind of like this, but it had a very smooth stalk like a rainbow eucalyptus color to it almost. This one, this one as you can see, doesn't have that. The ring of course will tell us truly what we need to know and that's if it is safe to eat. Which, since I tried the ring earlier on what possibly was a death mushroom, the voice is going to go ahead and try this ring on this mushroom. Now she's not going to be seen while trying this, but she's going to give you her her analysis of the taste. All right, voice. Tell us what it tastes like as you try it. She's chewing. It didn't taste like anything. Hmm. If it turns red, it's bad. It doesn't. It's good. If it turns red, it's bad. Okay, so she tasted it, the ring. She said it didn't taste like anything. That's a better sign than earlier when I tasted the ring that tasted like funky mushroom. That's not what you want. You want it to taste kind of almondy, uh, nutty. Uh, kind of flavor like that or Dog pee? Dog pee. Hmm. Yeah, it is in a pretty uh, <sighs> Conveniently located place for that to take place uh, Dog pee could probably be on this thing, but we don't eat the stem Actually the stem doesn't taste very good at all um, It's not recommended to eat you eat the cap and of course we will clean it and we're gonna fry it uh, also the other way to check it is you scrape the gills underneath it here, and you can see there where we scraped right there. It didn't turn red, all right? Now the poisonous one uh, will turn red, um, like blood, uh, and blood means dead, uh, so don't eat it. Uh, so again, we're pretty sure that this is the proud mountain skyvling, or in Swedish, Stolt fjällskivling. Stolt fjäll... Fjälling. Drink more. Drink, 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 drink. All right, so this is uh, the video signing off once again a few hours later. 
we found the treasure, the prize gold. This mushroom here is incredibly uh, rare. Uh, it is a delicacy. Um, you'll just see them in random places. Like we just found this one. Uh, they don't really grow in big clusters. Uh, they grow, you know, one and only. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> found the gold.